is my can everybody see me so very good afternoon to all of you my dear students and my dear faculty members present over here so today is the first day of our program uh, this is the from institution innovation council and entrepreneurship development cell that is puran of our bpp imt bp Poddar institute of management and technology so our speaker is our home speaker our beloved speaker uh, ashim kumar panda he will give the lecture on achieving problem solution fit and product market fit okay Shesta, can you start? Good evening to my respected teachers and my dear friends. My name is Shreshtha Paul. And my name is Abhishek Mishra. I would like to welcome our principal ma'am, Professor Dr. Shutupa Mukherjee, all our faculty members and all the other participants present over here. I would also like to welcome today's speaker, Mr. Oshim Kumar Panda, Assistant Professor, Department of Information Technology, BBPIMT, Kolkata. I welcome you all to today's session on achieving problem solution fit and product fit organized by Institutions Innovations Council, BP Poddar Institute of Management and Technology. Now I would like to introduce our speaker, Mr. Oshim Kumar Panda. Mr. Panda is presently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Information Technology, BP for the Institute of Management and Technology, Kolkata. He has more than 10 years of teaching experience in the field of information technology. He has completed his BTEC in information technology from University of Kalyani and MTEC from University of Calcutta. He is an IoT applications developer with research interest in IoT and blockchain. Now I would like to request our coordinator, Dr. Shutapa Mukherjee Ma'am, to take over the session. Ma'am, please. Okay, uh, thank you, Abhishek, and thank you, Sreshta. So I'm very happy today uh, Oshim is here, Oshim sir, Oshim Kaur Panda, assistant professor in the department of uh, IT. So I am requesting Oshim, please start your lecture session on achieving problem solution fit and product market fit. Please start your lecture. Okay, thank you Sutabadi for the nice introduction. Okay, I think uh, I am audible, right? Yes, you're audible. Okay, fine. So just give me a minute. I think uh, the slide is visible. So, to woman? Yes, yes, visible. Okay, okay. Okay, so today's topic, uh, just uh, I want to start not with a topic, but uh, with some uh, real examples. Okay, so before that, uh, just few names I want to highlight uh, for this session. So these names are very popular, I think. And um, we often use these products, right? Uh, from the uh, startups or nowadays we can say, uh, not exactly startup, but we can say a well-formed uh, enterprises. So maybe the beginning, uh, the beginning was as a startup, but uh, nowadays they are enterprises. So these are the popular names nowadays and yeah. So this is another slide with, uh, with some names, popular names actually. And uh, okay, so now uh, we all want to do something different, right? So uh, this is the theme or you can say, uh, we can say that, okay, the aim uh, for every engineering student. I am talking about engineering students because uh, uh, we are all uh, 
from an engineering student uh, engineering college so that's why i am focusing on engineering uh, perspective okay so want to do something different so that's our motto from from the starting of, in, of uh, engineering career uh, we can say yeah starting from the first year okay so this is the motto uh, we can actually follow so it's not about ideas it's about making ideas happen so this is the uh, i think uh, a vision for every startup or everyone uh, or let's say we can say a successful for a successful entrepreneur or a startup that uh, we have lots of ideas so it's not uncommon we can say like uh, we all have different ideas and uh, all the ideas uh, i i think uh, we say valuable uh, okay from individual point of view but uh, this is not the uh, key fact the main thing is uh, how we can implement our ideas so it's all about making ideas happen okay now so today's topic uh, is problem solution fit okay uh, so what do you mean by problem solution fit so uh, i will answer this problem solution fit uh, after a few slides okay um, that what is the real meaning of problem solution fit and how we can define this problem solution fit uh, from startup point of view so uh, this is the theoretical concept right now whatever uh, we have okay in the slide so later i will uh, just compare the theoretical concept uh, with the practical knowledge whatever practical knowledge i have uh, for startup building or uh, product development so again uh, some theoretical points about uh, startup and the problem solution fit uh, concept so uh, later i will come back to this slide okay uh, with the uh, real life practical concept so that we can relate uh, the theoretical concept uh, with the uh, practical concept because often there is a gap between the theoretical uh, concept what we uh, study in our textbook and uh, maybe in uh, in various from various sources but there is a uh, gap between the uh, real life applications and uh, the theoretical concept so let's proceed so uh, this is the big thing where is my problem so for uh, starting a successful startup or uh, we can say enterprise uh, or entrepreneurship thing uh, what we need we need some problems some real problems because if we have problems then we can have solutions and after that uh, we can uh, create a successful uh, thing or you, you can say successful startup or whatever we can say okay so this is the big thing where is my problem we have to find out the problem on which we can have solution and uh, on the basis of that we can develop something so this is the aim of every startup so here uh, i want to quote uh, vishwakavi rubindra thakur bahudun dhure bahu krosh dhure bahu bai kori bahu desh ghure dekhite giyechi parbot mala dekhite giyechi sindhu dekha hoy nai chokkhu meliya ghor hote shudhu dui sakheliya ekti bhane chisher upor ekti chisher bindu so uh, this is the uh, vision of uh, I, i can say this is the feeling of uh, vishwakavi rubindra thakur so i want to just uh, quote this part uh, for the problem to find out the problem that uh, from where we can get the problem so it's not that uh, always we have to find out complex problem okay uh, maybe if we go back uh, uh, to some uh, successful uh, startups like uh, we can have flipkart we can have uh, amazon we can have byju's so and even a uh, big basket dropbox so these are very popular names nowadays and uh, if you just analyze their uh, vision their motto and the what they do actually then automatically you can find out one thing all are simple nothing complex is there right whatever they are doing nowadays it's very simple nothing complex take the example of say flipkart it's very simple like uh, delivering the product uh, to our doorstep right or maybe uh, we can take the example of a uh, big basket okay uh, and during pandemic so during pandemic zomato big basket these are all hit right so we can't imagine uh, our days uh, during pandemic without a uh, big basket zomato or other uh, you can we can say the logistics service uh, services right so what they do actually uh, they they are focusing on some basic problems 
okay so we have to find out some simple basic problems those are relevant to our day to day life problems okay so these are the things we need to focus uh, for example uh, like uh, okay i imagine or uh, we can say ola uber so nowadays uh, when we go outside the first thing we do is actually just um, we need to uh, open our smartphone and we need to use the ola app and uh, again uh, we need to find out the uh, cabs okay and uh, after that everything is smooth right so uh, the basic thing they are doing they are providing uh, some uh, okay uh, services to us now this is not complex so in the previous uh, days we, we we are used to uh, with the uh, i think yellow taxi services right so uh, what they did actually uh, during their startup phase uh, during their uh, uh, initial days they just uh, okay uh, just, and they, uh, for the uh, problem part, they just uh, they gone through the situation that okay, there's, there are lots of problems uh, during the uh, journey. So we have to uh, go ahead and there to find out a taxi or cab uh, for our journey. And at that time also uh, taxi refusals. So the refusal part is a big thing. Suppose uh, uh, some urgency is there, maybe medical urgency or maybe any other urgency, official work or something else. So we need to, uh, take a cab, right? So at that time, uh, you can't afford taxi refusal. So most of the time, what we need to do, uh, we need to pay extra, right? So suppose the real uh, cost is say 100 rupees, we need to pay more than that, say 200, 300 or more than that. So, but we can't uh, ignore that part because we, we, we should, uh, because there is, there is an uh, emergency. So that's the part. So they analyze the problem. And uh, after analyzing the problem, they just, uh, uh, got the solution and rest is history. So now uh, you can imagine the valuation of Ola Uber. Okay, so it's a uh, unicorn. We are unicorn. Unicorn means uh, the valuation is more than one billion. Okay, and I think uh, Ola is now what is a decacorn. That means the valuation is more than ten billion dollar. So it's a huge money. Even uh, these are more than GDP of some countries. So you can imagine that what they are doing and what is their valuation. So uh, what they did actually, they started from simple problem thing, right? After that, they got the solution, they just uh, designed their entire thing and they proceed. So this is the entire phase, okay? So what we need, we need some real good problems, okay? But not complex ones. It's not necessary that we need to solve complex problems. Simple problems can give us the edge over others. So we can start uh, with some simple problems also. So let's start, um, okay, let's watch a video uh, for this uh, a problem finding phase. So right now, just, uh, okay, it's a video break. So, or you can say uh, it's a short time. So let's start, watch the video. Now, the idea is very uh, is simple. Uh, just we need uh, some sensors to implement this product, okay? Now, what is the cause or what is the problem? Uh, and for that problem, actually, we have this solution. That's the uh, analysis we can do here. So uh, I can uh, give some real life, uh, actually, uh, problems on this. Uh, most of the time, so just at our home, we have these kind of problems. Right, uh, suppose at night. So uh, when we just, uh, we need, okay, suppose uh, I need to go uh, to the washroom, fine. So at that time, we need to switch on the light. So there is no problem because during uh, uh, 
that time, obviously, we will just uh, switch on the light. Fine. So after um, that, we often forget to uh, switch off the light. So that's the point. So at the next day, uh, at the morning, uh, we need to just uh, switch off that part. So this is a normal common problem. Uh, I think uh, all of you will agree with me, right? So like switching on, uh, switching on and off the lights, those are, those are uh, I think uh, we don't use frequently, like st our uh, staircase lights, okay, uh, and uh, outdoor lights. And most of, most common problem is our uh, washroom light, right? So most of the time we forget to switch off the washroom light. So uh, if you um, just calculate the amount of power we can save uh, by switching off the, you can say the uh, washroom light, it's huge. So in one, uh, in one word, we can say it's eco-friendly. At the same time, we can save the environment and uh, rest of the things uh, you can imagine that uh, what is the real effect. So here the problem is very simple. We need to switch on and switch off the lights um, okay, as per our requirements, right? So if we can do it automatically, then we can have a solution, right? So uh, my first product uh, that uh, I developed, uh, I think five or six years back, okay, uh, was uh, an, uh, okay, um, a light solution, okay, with motion sensor. So it will switch on and off the light automatically. Whenever anybody uh, just enters into the washroom, it will just switch on the light. And when uh, nobody is there in the washroom, automatically switch off. So uh, the first product developed by me uh, was uh, automatic, uh, I think an automatic, uh, yeah, uh, light, LED light. And the solution is very simple. What do we need? Just a sensor, okay? And uh, the cost of the sensor is very less also, uh, near about 60 to 70 rupees. Now imagine the product, uh, whatever product developed by the uh, Hebrews company, okay? Uh, they, now they are selling the product uh, with a price tag, say more than uh, 300 rupees. So the same thing I can develop, okay, within 100 rupees or not more, uh, maybe within uh, say 70 or 80 rupees. So that's the point where we can have solution and uh, what kind of solution we can implement. And is there any uh, real, uh, is it real? Can we, can we uh, just depend on the solution or is it uh, really uh, good enough to just uh, develop products on the solution part? So these are the points and uh, yeah, uh, we can focus this kind of uh, problem solution part. So this is the, this is, uh, uh, I think, yeah, very simple uh, incident uh, where we can have solution and we can develop products on this type of uh, problem solution part. Okay, next. Okay, now, uh, building pandemic during pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic, uh, it's, uh, I think, a uh, nightmare for all of us, right? So one thing uh, we got during the COVID-19 pandemic, don't touch. So that's the big thing uh, during COVID-19 pandemic. So uh, we, till now, uh, we hesitate to touch anything, right? So uh, I think the uh, yeah, yeah, picture is enough to tell you uh, what is the real thing during the COVID-19 pandemic. So this is a problem during COVID-19 pandemic, even uh, nowadays also, uh, this is a problem. We don't touch anything, uh, okay, uh, out, out, in, at home, maybe outside also, right? Outside, it's a real thing that we don't touch anything, right? So if something uh, that can uh, give us some um, services, touch this, right? So yeah, from this point of view, I can say, yeah, some applications we can develop, uh, those are really touchless. So we don't have to touch. We will be comfortable with those things, right? So this is a problem. So how to find out the problem? For these kind of problems, we can have some solution. And this solution, I think, uh, obviously not all, but a selected group or a group of uh, people will obviously uh, just accept, right? So later uh, I will focus on that part, uh, who will accept on who, uh, okay, or not. And uh, what, what, what is the impact of this uh, acceptance, right? So for the time being, just focus on the problem part. So uh, the previous slide, I talked about some, uh, okay, uh, light on off thing that, that is very much relevant uh, nowadays, uh, uh, okay, in our day-to-day -day life. Now the touchless thing, okay? That means we, till 
till today uh, or nowadays also uh, we hesitate to touch the surfaces the handle of our door okay and uh, and sanitizer so sanitizer is a big weapon to fight covid 19 but for that also we need to touch the sanitizer so that's the big thing suppose in um, public places we need to use the sanitizer okay and even we use sanitizing tool and all those things but for that we need to touch the sanitizer that we uh, okay that that is not desirable actually because as per covid 19 if we touch uh, a surface okay that means uh, there is a possibility that we may contact with covid 19 that means touchless is the solution part okay so later i will focus on that uh, solution part but for the time being this is a real problem okay now next uh, i think i don't have to say too much about the image or picture now it's a uh, relevant to from okay uh, i think uh, this is very much relevant nowadays and in coming days also because uh, in india uh, we have large consumption of uh, say natural yeah fossil fuels like uh, petrol diesel and all those things but we don't have so much reserve so we need to uh, just uh, get all the excess uh, requirement from outside countries so that's why well it's very much costly for us right and nowadays we are just uh, yeah we that means everywhere there is a, a hit of uh, i think right there's a hit for petrol or yeah yeah fossil fuel price rise so this is a real this is a real problem okay now we can have some solutions on this problem right so this is this is the problem third problem actually okay Next problem, yeah. Uh, so from the image, I think it's a, uh, yeah. Uh, it, is it clear that what is the problem? Anybody can guess from the participants? Anybody I think can it's guess? water planting. I mean, uh, watering, watering. Yeah, thank you, Sulikta ma'am. Okay, from students, anyone can guess? What, uh, yeah, can you find out the problem from this slide? Anyone? After summer vacation, the plant has died, and when it was before summer, it was spring, it was all healthy. Yes. So uh, nowadays, actually, uh, yeah, we all love plants, right? And uh, this is the source of, uh, yeah, you can say, oxygen, right, uh, at our apartments or flat. So we love, not all, but I think most of the people will love uh, flower plants and all those things, right? Because uh, this is a phrase, uh, or you can say, this can change our moods. So this is a scenario, uh, okay, in our uh, balcony garden, we can say. So this is the incident, okay, uh, before our summer vacation. So we need to, Go for a tour or vacation fine maybe seven days eight days now uh, just think about the scenario and it's i think common for all of us and in most of the cases uh we like some of the plants yeah uh, this is the scenario after our vacation tour or uh, vac uh, summer vacation um, break right so because nobody uh, was there uh, at our flats or apartments to pour water to the plants right so this is the scenario this is a big problem. Suppose you have a, okay, uh, you are very much uh, fascinated uh, in gardening. So then this is a real problem. Okay, so can we have a solution for this kind of problem? So till now I have discussed some problems, simple problems, these are not complex actually. Okay, so uh, these are problems. So can we develop solution for this type of problems? If yes, uh, then we can have some things different that you want to do, fine. So let's start with the solution part. So till now, whatever um, I discussed actually related with the problem finding, right? So first thing we need to find out the problem that is really a problem, okay? It's not necessarily a complex thing, but simple things can be a big problem, okay? So whatever example I uh, shown you, it's all about uh, simple things. Okay, so let's proceed. Now, uh, again, uh, some theoretical concept, uh, product design and development. So what is a product? We all know, right? Something that uh, we can sell, okay? And what is 
to join obviously some blueprint or we can say uh, in engineering term we can say some uh, blueprint or drawing drawing of something right that we can treat as design so these two things uh, we will apply in our next uh, slides now uh, some design aspect of a product so again i will come back to this slide uh, later okay okay now uh, anybody can guess what is this anyone any guess any response from school part participants special students any response it's an ic uh yes ic is there microcontroller unit this is an micro okay uh, this is a microcontroller unit this one okay uh, next this is uh, a relay next part a battery or power source uh, a led uh, this is a, a soil sensor and this is a submersible pump okay so what is this this is the circuit right circuit diagram so any uh, what is the purpose anyone can guess actually uh, ashim they are not allowed most of the students oh, okay, are okay, not okay. allowed to okay because they are not given the permission to unmute right okay fine uh, during question and answer session uh, okay uh, we can interact fine no problem so uh, now uh, we got the problem and uh, we have a solution okay so the first thing we can do we need a design okay fine right. so right now i am talking about the design uh, to create some prototype product for a plant watering system because in the previous slide we talked about the plant watering system because uh, at our home uh, we have a, a small uh, in my apartment uh, i have a small balcony garden okay so a uh, few plants are there but uh, during my summer vacation break or uh, during any tour actually uh, nobody can give water to those plants and automatically you can uh, imagine what will be the effect fine so for that problem uh, what i developed i developed a system that can give water to my plants and not necessarily uh, it's that okay uh, okay different type, types of plants are available okay and some of the plants require more, more, more water much water okay and some of the plants are require less water so that's the another uh, another thing we need to monitor later uh, these points are in it. Uh, i will focus or i will explain so but for the time being just concentrate on the design part and uh, so we need i need to design something okay design something i need to design for my solution that is is it feasible can i develop a system that can solve my problem so uh, at the at the starting i just try to think about the solution okay if i okay i have a submersible pump and i can control the pump uh, from any remote location because i am not at my home so i need to control the pump from outside of my home and for that what i need i need uh, an internet connectivity because through internet connectivity i can control my pump okay at the same time i need uh, some extra information like uh, soil moisture like uh, how much water what is the water level in the soil fine at the same time the environment data like uh, maybe uh, in rainy season there there is a rain so i don't need to switch on the pump because it's already there is enough water in the soil so i don't need to switch switch the, on the pump right so this additional data uh, i need to keep in my mind during the design phase okay so i need to analyze my problem okay what is my actual problem and what are the things i need to implement during my uh, or, or in my solution these points uh, can help me to create a good solution fine so uh, in this circuit diagram uh, i used a microcontroller unit that can communicate uh, with outside uh, okay that means uh, uh, suppose uh, i am not at my home so i can easily communicate uh, from anywhere so that's the first objective a first thing uh, that came into my mind that what is the need of the hour the need of the hour is that i need to control the pump from anywhere okay so that's the first thing next the data soil data soil data means uh, is it uh, okay should i switch on the pump right now 
what is the water level and those things so this is the design phase we need to create the design so that on the basis of the design i can develop the product right so okay so during the question answer session just uh, we can have a formal discuss uh, any discussion on this product development and design part also now uh, so till now problem finding is okay we got the problem now next design phase that is also completed now next the product development so once you have the problem once you have the solution now you can focus on your product development so let's watch the video for the product development part Okay, so uh, so this is the prototype actually. Now, uh, this thing, can I sell the product or can I sell this prototype to anyone? So that's the next part. So right now, uh, I got all the points. Number one, problem finding, next design part, and the third one, product development or rather we can say uh, it's prototype development. Now it's all complete. Now uh, we need to just uh, focus on a specific thing. Is it really a good thing or good product or uh, you, we can say a sellable product? Can I sell the product to anyone? So that's the big thing. So maybe uh, we have problems and we can have the solution also, but at the same time, can we sell the products okay uh, those we can develop from those concepts so that's the big thing okay now uh, in this prototype uh, what i did actually uh, i just uh, solved all the problems uh, those problems uh, are relevant to me actually maybe the problem set will vary from one user to another user maybe some problems those are relevant to me are not relevant to someone else so that thing when I need to focus or we need to focus. Okay, fine, next. Okay, now, uh, this again, it's a, a video. So let's watch the video. Thank you. 
So this is another um, product prototype, uh, uh, home automation system, a part of uh, home automation system where we can control all the lightings. Even uh, we can change the color of the light. So this is a part of a uh, home automation system. And in this home automation system, actually we can control anything from our AC to our fan, everything we can control. Now, uh, now what is the need of this system? And is it really a good product? Okay, so for that, we need to analyze certain things. So nowadays, our electricity cost is too much. So if we analyze the electricity cost and all those things, then automatically you can find out if it's feasible or not to create a product on the basis of smart home automation system. Right, so next. Okay, now uh, there is a, okay, another product. So uh, in the beginning slides, actually we focused on some problems, right? So I think uh, you remember that we don't touch concept, right? During COVID-19 pandemic, okay? So we got the problem. Now the design phase is okay, okay, fine. Now this is the product, prototype product. So uh, actually this product uh, developed by uh, Sovik Das, uh, one of our students uh, actually uh, from electrical department, right? So uh, a very smart solution, okay? And uh, I, I must have, uh, yeah, give full credit to Sovik for this product actually. And uh, so what he did actually, it's very simple. During pandemic, we are afraid of touching anything so during that, those days, actually, uh, he just developed this product and later, uh, okay, uh, he developed other products also. So just uh, for the time being, concentrate on this sanitizer. Now, this is the need of the hour at that time. Okay, and even today also, even today, if we have a touchless sanitizing system, that's best, I think, nowadays, because we don't have to touch anything and we'll be comfortable, right? So if there is a, a sanitizing system, uh, that is not touchless, and there is another one, alternative one, uh, that is which one is touch, touchless. So automatically, we will prefer the second part, okay, or second product. Now, uh, this video is very much interesting. I think, uh, yeah, this is really uh, an interesting thing, or uh, we can say, uh, so uh, in the problem finding, 
case, uh, we, we have, uh, okay, uh, we have gone through one problem uh, related to the high fuel price, right? So this is based on that. So this is a product a prototype that can solve the high fuel price for some uh, group of people, obviously, not for all, but obviously in India, uh, we have a okay, huge market. So that's the big thing in India. Okay, so in India, if we don't have anything, that is also fine, but we have a huge market. So if we can develop some real good solution, okay, then nobody can stop us, right? So let's watch the video. I think this, this is a uh, okay, really interesting one. So let's watch. Now, this is uh, not an ordinary bicycle, actually. This is electric bicycle. So one of the, I think, popular thing nowadays, actually. So we all know about EV, electric vehicles. So uh, why not? Uh, we can have electric bicycle also. So few things are there. Uh, on the basis of that, uh, actually, uh, we developed this uh, electric bicycle. So, so big again. Uh, part of this uh, initiative, actually, electric bicycle. Now, uh, what are the points? The points are very simple. Nowadays, uh, everywhere we have, okay, so for every household, uh, we have, okay, there is a bicycle, a bicycle, right? So if we can just convert the bicycle, whatever we have into an electric one, then it can solve some problems. And interestingly, this, by electric bicycle can give you good result. Okay, like uh, for one charge, you can travel um, almost uh, 30 to 40 kilometers. So not a small journey, right? So this kind of products we can deliver or we can create um, on the basis of problem. So the first thing, what we need a good problem, a simple problem, and that is also relevant to all, most of the most of us, right? Depending on those problems, we can develop solution, right? And uh, if the solution is feasible enough, then we can go for a product development. So these are the things uh, till now that uh, we can focus. Now, uh, up to this point, it's okay, fine. Uh, we have problems, we, can ha we have solutions also, and at the end, we can develop some product, right? Prototype products, fine. Now, uh, I will go back to the PV. Okay. Uh, next slide. Let's do it. Now. So, uh, till now, it's fine. It's fine that uh, I have something to develop. Now, the next part is my product market fit. Can I uh, develop? The, okay. Can I go for huge? Uh, Okay, can I give, okay? Can I create an enterprise with the solution or problem, whatever we have, with the products, whatever we have? Can we go for uh, for an enterprise? Can we develop in large scale? So that's the critical part. So it's not enough that uh, your solution is solving some problems, and uh, we have some product prototypes. But to survive, in a, uh, okay, society or in a say um, 
okay market we need to create products those are market fit so let's analyze the points okay for market fit now so first thing we need to understand the market need what the market uh, okay want that's the first thing so for example uh, like covid times uh, there there is a need of touchless system right so at that time uh, the touchless sanitizing uh, system is very much i think uh, need of the hour fine so at that time we can uh, okay uh, even uh, we sold numerous sanitizing kit okay that means a uh, touchless sanitizing system so that's the first point understanding the market need what market wants actually next point value for money and user friendly so that's the second point so when i okay when you are developing a product you need to focus on this point is it value for money so that's the first thing we ask even now it is also suppose you you uh, okay you want to purchase a car okay or maybe any any product the first thing you will ask okay that is it value for money and how user friendly it is so these are the things you need to keep in your mind next customer feedback so this is very critical we need to get the customer feedback about the products okay so because on the basis of the feedback you can improve your product that's very much required now continued continued innovations and timing of the product so now understand the market need so this is the yeah, touchless sanitizer okay sanitizing unit so this okay the product right now are not available in amazon but uh, uh, so we sold this uh, product in amazon through amazon various numerous units uh, he sold so nowadays there is one advantage you don't need the market that is it's not you don't have to reach to a market market can reach you it, nowadays lots of e-commerce sites are available like amazon flipkart where you can just list your products right you don't have to do anything you don't have to advertise nothing okay so just you need to just list your product in amazon and flipkart you can test it suppose you have a product a good product you think as per your uh, idea it's good it can solve the problem really efficiently so what you can do you can try so it's like testing phase okay you can develop some prototype product and you can test okay so this is the uh, testing phase you can say uh, and uh, depending on the customer feedback you can improve your product okay and obviously you can decide or you can get the um, yeah think that is your product really market fit now now next product uh, i am okay this is this is also a part of bhavan home automation system and uh, okay so so big is again a part of this new city now this device so yeah so this device can solve various problems at our home so the total okay uh, lighting system including ac fan can be controlled using this device okay i am interrupting ashish yeah. the yes. bhavan bhavan's automation system that is from our student right yeah, yes 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 so we does electrical for here yeah 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 thank okay. you okay now uh, the next part uh, that is the customer feedback now this is critical okay so you need to get feedbacks from the customers so from the customers actually you can get what what is the actual value of your product is it really worthy enough okay can you depend on your solution and can you go for a mass production okay because for mass production what we need we need money that in cost factor and this is a big thing for any startup because we have everything okay except the money okay <laughs> other than money we can have everything like effort solution problem everything we have design but we don't have enough money so we need money from investors right now why they will put their money into a risky game because uh, maybe uh, right nowadays uh, we can say that okay flipkart amazon and uh, like uh, byju's all are successful but obviously 90% startups are also a failure right so that's the big thing how to get investment now 
For that, we need to refine our products. We need to update the products, modify the products as per the customer requirement or as per the market need. Okay, next. Again, this is the customer review and feedback for the Bhavan Home Automation product, okay? So from these feedbacks, you can get that, okay, uh, is it really worthy or not? And can you depend on your solution? Can you depend on your product in future also? Now, continued innovations. So I think uh, Kodak uh, was a familiar name in the okay, image. Okay, I think uh, in 90s, okay, uh, Kodak was a familiar name. Whenever we need to uh, purchase a camera during those days, Kodak was the first choice. But nowadays, it's, I think uh, nobody wants Kodak camera, right? And we go for Canon, Nikon, and other brands, but not Kodak. Now, what is the cause actually behind this? The cause is innovation part. So they fail to catch the market need, market trend, okay? So market trend and market requirement is a big thing that you need to analyze what, what is the market requirement actually, okay? And as per the requirement, you need to modify your product. So, Again, timing of the product. So this is also very much, uh, it's very crucial actually. Now, uh, just uh, think about the touchless sanitizing system, right? So now it's whatever, okay. During just uh, imagine the scenario uh, during uh, 2000, uh, after 2020 March, at that time, the product was very much relevant. But nowadays uh, we can live without the touchless system, right? But at in those days, uh, this touchless system was very much relevant, right? So timing of the product, when you are delivering your product, when you are launching your product, that's the first thing. So I can uh, give you another example, like, uh, okay, uh, oximeter, pulse oximeter. So during COVID-19 pan pandemic, the, the device actually cost around 300, maximum 300 actually, or cost price less than that. Okay, 200, within 200 or 150, Anybody can create uh, or can develop a pulse oximeter. But during the COVID-19 pandemic, average cost of any pulse oximeter was above 1500. So you can imagine the margin and obviously the timing factor. Now, at least nobody will okay, purchase a pulse oximeter, pulse oximeter with the cost say more than 1500. But during those days, there was a scarcity of pulse oximeter, right? Phobia, and uh, we all want a pulse oximeter. If you uh, just uh, you go back to the COVID-19 second wave, right? So timing of the product is very much important when you are launching your product, okay? Okay, now uh, I will go back to some of the previous slides. Okay, now, uh, right now, I think uh, the slide is clear to all, right? That problem solution fit. So uh, maybe uh, your solution is, okay, worthy enough. So what do you mean by problem solution fit? So suppose, uh, take the example of a smart plant watering system. Okay, I distributed some of the prototype uh, system, smart, plant watering system to my friends, relatives, okay? Or a group of friendly customers, right? So depending on that, can I decide that, okay, this is really good enough and I can go for a mass production. It's not at all, okay? It's not true at all. That means uh, if you have a good feedback from, a, a, some, say, some, from some group of um, customers, actually from your friends, relatives, okay? So can we say that, yeah, our product is good and we can go for mass 
production not at all so we need to focus on these points so now i think uh, these points are very much clear to all that okay we should have or uh, for the products we should have an mvp minimum viable product that means it is really for the enough to solve the main problem like the main objective of my system is to give water to the plants so is it capable of doing the basic thing if yes then it's okay so this is the minimum viable product thing okay now uh, we need to find out the early adapter so yes not all will take your product okay some of the interest okay uh, interest person or maybe uh, those who frequent okay uh, who are uh, i think uh, frequently visitors to uh, okay maybe you may say that uh, who are frequent out of home so they can make, they can offer for your product because they really need your product to for your for their home right so next part and uh, yes so these points we need to focus maybe my solution can solve the problem but we need to or i need to find out okay uh, if it's really enough good enough to develop or go for a mass production okay now now so uh, what we need to do that the thing uh, for for having a successful uh, startup what we need we need some basic principle basic rules we need to follow some basic rules actually the basic rules are first of all we need to analyze the problem next we need to find out the solution next design part next product development prototype and after that uh, we can say uh, yeah some feedbacks from the customers okay so after that we can develop our product from the feedbacks or from the input sort of what we get from the customer so this is the overall scenario okay and uh, for that what we need we need to do the swot analysis our strong point our weak point and uh, all the other things that means uh, we need to focus few more points that means uh, for a startup cost is a big deal right so how to manage the cost or budget and how to uh, get investors so these are the points we need to focus and uh, i think uh, yes okay okay i need think uh, this is the end uh, yeah i can stop here and uh, Yes, Shrutabha ma'am, uh, this is the end. If uh, participants has some queries or uh, question, they can ask. Yes. Uh, the students or any faculty member, if you have any questions. Uh, student public now can unmute themselves. Yeah. You can unmute and you can ask the question. Or can raise your hand, or you can write the question in the chat box. They, they can uh, unmute themselves also. Okay. Anybody has any question? No one has any question. Anyone so, having any query, doubt, anything? Okay, I think uh, nobody has any query because okay. uh, I am very happy. Basically, it's my pleasure to give the vote of thanks for this wonderful session Our for our uh, home speaker, our honorable speaker, and uh, Professor Oswim Kumar Panda. Okay, so basically he has uh, explained in a very lucid way uh, regarding the startup. So we know that what is, what is the start, how can you start a startup? There are different steps like start the idea, business plan, funding, 
and after that production and after that the feedback of the customer everything our Osim sir has explained in a very lucid manner right so what he has explained basically if you want to if you have the motivation if you want if you have the interest to start a startup then you if you have the idea then the money is not a factor because when his first idea was as first product was if i am not wrong motion sensor and that is was switch on of automatic led light right ashim am i correct right. yes 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 and i think uh, the budget was like 80 to 100 rupees okay right right and uh, again he has explained a very lucid way the balcony garden so in this way if you try guys the our students if you try it if you have any if you want to get the idea and if you want to if you have idea say and you want to get the solution you can contact asim sir because he is the assistant professor in our bp kodar in it department okay so thanks to our speaker a lot of thanks and thanks to our iic members the students the organizers special thanks to orindom shrestha and abhishek and special thanks to our coordinator of uh, the shurojit professor shurojit mondal now i am requesting abhishek to share the appreciation certificate for our speaker ashim kumar pandar abhishek okay. please share the Mr. certificate ma'am uh, i want to add few more things just uh, okay okay uh, okay, okay two or three please. points yeah so, uh, for students actually so this is the number uh, can anybody guess uh, or predict what is this is it pi or something uh, actually this is uh, in dollar we can say 42 billion dollar okay so this yeah. is the money actually till now our startup the startup in india raised till now 42 billion dollar so this is the figure actually a magic figure we can say and, and there is another fact that india has the third largest startup ecosystem in the world so this is another thing uh, you should know and uh, 90 unicorns are available in india unicorn startup so now unicorn means more than 1 billion dollar in valuation okay and four decacorns decacorn means more than 10 billion dollar so these two are the facts i think a student should know uh, okay so i think in india we have enough opportunity and the main opportunity is the market in india so that's the huge bonus point for for all of us actually so if you have a vision if you have a goal uh, to create something new okay something big you can start nobody can stop you and forget about rest of the things but the main thing you should have a valid problem you should have a clear simple design and product development that's all and after that i think nobody can stop you so that's the um, i think experience i got during my product development and till now i am doing uh, some of the product development uh, maybe uh, not all the products are going for development purpose but it's my uh, interest and passion for iot product actually uh, that's why i, I always uh, uh, keep myself busy in this kind of product development so thank yes, you i think i think ashim if anybody is successful for only one product then definitely he or she will get the interest to do another one right yes obviously obviously that's right mm -hmm. and ashim i am requesting you a feedback link will be shared with your mail id please okay. fill up that one and okay, all the participants it. are requesting to fill up the feedback they shared by shrestha in chat box and uh, can you stop the sharing please ashim yes obviously yes and uh, abhishek after that you share the certificate Yes, are you happy? Thank you, Sulita Ma'am. Sulita Ma'am. Thank you. Uh, All right. I am. I am Shudha Pa Ma'am. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Shudha Ma'am. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, really, a... really, it's a wonderful lecture, Ashim. It is very innovative thank you. Thank you. and very helpful for students as well as for us. Okay. Actually, so, uh, during online um, interaction, it's very much a problematic actually to give. Uh, Uh, presentation on real products 
because in online mode uh, i can't see anyone so that's the big problem so uh, in is it available in your department right now which one uh, that product what, are, what yeah your product uh, yeah product is available actually at my home not in my department so if students are, uh, that means if anyone uh, has any interest they can contact me i can show the product to them okay ishwarajit can you conclude the session yes can you have a group photo please so yeah, yeah. each and every can yeah. start their video please everybody start your video ashato shrestha abhishek shantanu yeah there are 81 participants please everybody is requesting to start your video please okay thank you thank you all the participants ha uh, yes surajit da thank you thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you all the participants for their patient hearing we will meet at 4 pm so please participate thank you